Welcome to Great Dean's Stand-Up Comedy Classes Question and Answer Time. So the question of today came in from Sissy I. Or Sissy the First. I'm not sure which this is. Uh, in class, you mentioned the buzz zone uh, for an audience. Uh, can you explain it in a video for me? Well, sure. Here we go. It has to do with the audience drinking alcohol or whatever their preference is. Okay, so uh, for an evening. Uh, uh, the buzz zone is akin to the Goldilocks zone for planets when it's, it's just right for light. Okay, at the top of the show, an audience is sober, and oftentimes it's harder to make them laugh and get them involved and do all those things. And uh, uh, when they're drinking for a while, they, they loosen up and, and uh, they start to feel, they start to get their buzz on. And that is the beginning of the buzz zone. Okay, they're feeling good. That's really nice. For traditional shows that that buzz zone can last from like the MC opener, but certainly through the feature and the headliner, okay? But for shows that are longer, like showcase clubs that can go on for hours and hours and hours, okay? Uh, sometimes those audiences can, can stumble, uh, stagger, or sometimes even crawl into the sloshed, plastered, tanked up, uh, basically, shit-faced arena of assholes. And uh, let the games begin, because <laughs> these people become as oblivious to, to reality as Republicans. Um, most experienced comedians can handle this. Some of them really love it actually, and then some of them just deal with it because they have to, and then for beginners, this can be really tough because uh, the people in this arena of uh, uh, shit-faced arena of assholes uh, do not respond like normal human beings. So as a beginner, if you have a choice about a spot during a show, pick it during the buzz zone, okay, where everybody's happy and having a good time, okay? Uh, Avoid that shit-faced uh, arena of assholes if you can. Uh, then again, the only way you're going to really learn how to deal with it is through trial and humiliation. Thank you, and keep sending in your questions.